get it. Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to Sparkly. Sparkly. Speak freely about anything. Okay, so today I will be your host for our podcast. And my name is Pratya Harnisa. I am from the nursing department, but usually people call me Ria. So I would like to introduce our guest and my co-host here. So first, I will go to my co-host first. Thank you, Ria. Hi, my name is Gita Mayang. Everyone call me Gita. I'm a nursing student. In Poldekas Kemenkes, Jogja Okay, next I will go to our youngest here Ahda, please Hello everyone, uh, thank you um, <laughs> I would like to introduce myself My name is Ahmad Ahda uh, Everyone likes to call me Ahda uh, Very commonly So I am from the International Nursing Program And That's all? Yeah Okay, uh, we will go to our oldest one here <laughs> Please, Pasha Okay Hello everyone, my name is Rifki Pasha Wisnuwardana. People call me Pasha and I'm from Medical Lab Technology. Okay, that will be all. So there is four of us now. My name is Ria and then my co-host here is Gita. And then our youngest one is Ahda and the oldest one here is Pasha. Okay, guys, today we will talking about our journey to English or in English maybe. Uh, so... For knowing our journey, what usually people talk about is how do we start on how or how do we learn our English. So maybe we can start uh, talking about your background, maybe your family background or educational background on how did you get your English. So maybe we could start with Ahda, please. All right. So personally, when I was younger, I was like from the second grade, I started having my private course of English with my uncle. I don't really have anyone else besides my yeah. uncle to start English with. He's from South Africa. Oh. Yeah, he's from South Cape Africa. Cape Town? Um, probably, I ah. think, yeah. <laughs> and his wife is from Indonesia as well. Oh. Yeah, so I started when I was on the second grade on junior high school. Mm-hmm. And it took me around two years, I think, to develop. Um, before that, I even started uh, learning about English from mostly movies or even uh, U- YouTube channels, something like that. And I started progressing. And after those private courses, I took my own journey. Mm-hmm. Or did. Okay. Yeah. And it took really really long way it took me a really long way to so for your educational background it doesn't really much i know i mean like contribute to your english skill or it's merely because you choose to learn it yeah it's merely because i choose my own way instead Uh, because from the educational way it doesn't really take much it doesn't really give you the whole skills, oh, okay. but instead, contribution is not yeah, there. <laughs> it doesn't really give you any contribution. But instead, if you know how to develop or use your own skills your own way, the way how it's comfortable for you, you could develop your own way. So does I mean like anyone else besides your uncle speak English with you, or is it just your uncle? Um, actually, I do have a friend as ah, well. Okay. Yeah. Like online friend or your school friends or um, mostly my own online friends. Ah, yeah, I see. I There's see. There's only a few of my face to face friends ah, that speaks English though. Yes, of course. Okay, that will be all from from Ada. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, let's move to Gita. Okay, thank you, Ria. Okay. Um, my journey in English is especially uh, not really different from Ahda. Mm-hmm. I learned English since I was in the second grade of elementary school student, and I learned it by joining a course. And especially, I developed my English with my sister because uh, she interested too in English, and we always um, practicing English every day at home to talk every day in English so she helped me to learn English very well and also uh, same with Ahda I learned English from watching movie from listening to music and I do translate to the lyrics mm. and I learned English from that yeah. and it's really 
enjoy as what Ahda say we if we enjoy English by yeah. ourselves it will be made us like more comfortable in learning English by ourselves yes. that's it uh, maybe uh, like do you have any friends outside like you, of course your sister you meet her every day in your home but does anyone else also help this like maybe your friends in high school or maybe from your junior high is there anyone else that you speak English with Yes, I have a friend from Netherlands when oh. I, I met him, I met them especially mm. uh, when I was in senior high school and mm. we talk English too much because I couldn't uh, speak in their language in okay. Netherlands, in of Dutch, course. I cannot do that. <laughs> so we communicate in English and I think uh, it's good for me to learn English or to practice English mm. with uh, my abroad friend like that. I see. So mostly it was uh, first in your maybe your first half of life it was your sister and then you met yes. uh, abroad friends yes. from Netherlands like in your high school maybe? Yes. Oh, it was in your high in your high school. Yeah. Okay. That will be all? That will be all? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Let's move like next me. Okay. So for my journey on how do I get my English? It's mostly because of my mother. My mother was graduated from English literature so does my ma- uh, dad they were in the same uh, study program same university like I don't know college lovers <laughs> and then uh, my mom especially loves to watch movies she is the victim of pop culture <laughs> like she watched blockbuster so much she introduced me to films like fast and furious and then and others other blockbuster movies and she also take me to theaters also like when i mean like it's for elementary students it that's ne- not necessarily a common thing that you go to theaters but my mom uh take me there often and I think that's where I start to get to know English and love English my mom also likes the pop culture in the music uh, field like New Kids on the Block uh, The West Life and things like that and my mom also convinced me and my brother to speak English in our house so the household speaks many languages <laughs> of course we speak Japanese and then Indonesia and English but I think mostly in my household it was Indonesia and English so I think that's how I develop my English as a young uh, as a young kid and then grow up I love English and I think it's fun and I think it's really cool for me to be able I think we all agree that speaking English is really cool as Indonesian like we do we are not native speakers and I think as uh, me back then I think it's very cool right now I also think it's very cool that I am able to speak English so that's how I get my English okay that will be all from me And next, we move to Pasha. What is your background? Okay, uh, maybe I have a slightly different background than my peers, but uh, my English abilities mainly stems from my parents, especially my father, because my father is, I'm very proud and very lucky to have such a, a studious and such a literature based or like very smart father that uh, are, is able to teach me Uh, the English skills and the various different languages uh, in the world, uh, especially uh, Javanese. He t- teach me Javanese, but also English and especially English because uh, the ways that uh, some people speak English are very different than uh, like in the terms of academic field. Mm, and yes. he is very helpful in uh, explaining very technical Uh, nuances of English and essentially uh, from an early age he exposed me to English mm. and various different things and that's what makes me very interested in English okay so it was mainly your father yeah yeah okay I think for all four of us I think it's more like a family thing that yes. starts the English like for Pasha it's your father and then for me it's my mother and my, both my parents actually and then for Gita it's your sister yes. and then for Ahda is your uncle isn't it yeah. yeah so it's a more family thing but I think it would be some kind of 
uh, hard to relate for our peers. Like maybe we they don't really have an English background in their family. So maybe what about we talk about uh, what do we do to maintain our English? Like how do we keep on track? How do we maintain? Like we do get the background. It's privilege, I think. Uh, for all four of us to have a English family background, but it's not much happening right now in Indonesia or maybe even in our campus, like our friends maybe don't have that same kind of background. So what do you do to maintain your English? Maybe Pasha? Okay. Uh, for me, I think speaking is the most important part of yes. learning and maintaining your English. So uh, as I said before, I'm really blessed to have a really a good parent and my father but also my sister and my mother to a certain extent can also speak english and their abilities maybe is better than your average indonesian but uh every day uh, at home and at the classroom maybe with some friends uh, i try to keep on practicing and keep on using my English so that I don't forget and so that I keep with the vocabulary and the grammar and so on and so forth. And also, I'm also uh, following the pop culture also as what Ria said before, it's yes. very important to keep up with the pop culture. That's what actually happening right now. Yeah. Like. Music yes. and movies Please. and books to a certain extent also. And I think that's how I can keep my English skills. Okay. Next, maybe we can ask something from Gita. <laughs> hmm, I think it's better for us to ask the guests first. Uh, ah, okay. First. <laughs> well, mainly back when I was younger, uh, I'm still young as well right now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank well, you yeah. <laughs> for the reminder. Well, um, back then I used to speak by my own I, I talk by my own uh. like I don't really know why but I used to yeah, yeah. talk by my own mainly using English yeah. instead of Indonesia yeah um, I don't really know why yeah. it's just like a, I think a, a nature a yeah habit. I, I think if you speak another language it's like a canon canon event that I think everyone feels like when you are speaking to yourself, you tend to not speak in your native language. Like exactly. it's so fun just to talk to yourself and like ranting or venting in English. I know, right? Yeah, it's, it's so fun. Like you guys have to do it one time. It's like you're talking by yourself. You feel like there's an imaginary person in yes. front of you. Like exactly. By, exactly. Like there's honestly, there's no one in front of you, but yeah. you're honestly looking an imaginary mirror you're mm. talking to yourself like yeah. you're evaluating what you're about to do mm. what you're gonna do or what has done mm. and mostly i like to read as well oh, what do you what is your current read um right now right now the novel is like the lord of the rings right now oh that's, that's that stuff is heavy i just yeah. finished babel and it broke my heart <laughs> exactly I, i've heard about babel a few months ago it's about yeah, yeah that tower that starts the change of mm. one language turns into multiple language that's yes. the curse that god has given but it's not just a curse it's also a blessing as well yes so how do you maintain your English is mainly you speak to yourself and then you read. Maybe there's anything else? Uh, no, I really hate writing. <laughs> <laughs> do we all? <laughs> uh, I, we do. <laughs> yeah, okay. So it's uh, more like you read and then you talk to yourself. Or maybe there's someone else involved. Like maybe you talk to your friends. Maybe your friends in high school. Or maybe right now, do you have any friends who speaks English? Um, mostly just an online friend. Mm. Mostly they're from the Europe. Yeah. Ah, it's like online game or. Um, we started from an online game. We turned ah. into a community where, ah, yes, uh, it's, of course. as we know from the application right now, like it's Discord. Ah, you know? Yeah, it's. I see. We built a community from zero until thousands of people. Oh, yeah. he's a builder. <laughs> <laughs> we started building like there's only five of us, like m me exactly from Indonesia and my friend Kevin from India, um, Fabi from Germany. Um, 
Tommy from Netherlands and another one um, Jessica from German as well mm. yeah we met from online game we talk a lot we rant about our problems and everything uh, we, we turn that friendship into some sort of in, international online family uh, thing yeah. and it's been keep going it's been going for around two years from now yeah. okay. that's really interesting but I want to ask something. You said that your friends are from different countries, right? Yeah. But from what I heard, it's not actually like English uh, speaking primary right? language uh. as a primary language. Why do you think that uh, you guys use English like daily to communicate? Because as I know, English is like an international language that right. we could actually use to communicate with other people because right. uh, not many know how to talk in Germany German, or Netherlands yeah. or even Indonesian, but mm-hmm. everyone knows to talk about everything in English because that's how we connect with each other. Okay, okay. okay that's good. Like. <laughs> it is an international language yeah. as well Indeed. so that's how you connect everyone and then let's move to Gita okay it's not too far away from my passion also ada i like to talk to myself especially yeah. like in in front of the mirror and an event <laughs> just like practicing speech i guess like yeah, talking yeah. In, uh, in front of the mirror but especially i talk in English with my sister when she came to my house to my parents house we keep talking in English especially I also ask my friend to let us practice talking in English mm. like if you are not really get into English or not really fluent in English you can try like yeah, we can learn together okay. by by talking together in English it's really interesting for other people know Especially like us talk in English, they will be very in- interesting. Yeah, like wow. wow, it's really cool for I them to talk you, in like, English, it's right? Looping, like yes. yes. So I think when I ask my friend to let us practice talk in English, they very excited to do that. Mm. So that's my way to always uh, develop my English, especially mm. that. So. I mean, like from your story, you said that your friends were really excited to see you, and maybe your another friend who speaks English uh, in a good uh, pronunciation and anything else. But you say that, but I saw what I get is that your friends who are excited is not that good in English. So it's more like you teaching them, right? Was it? Um, I think I'm not teaching them, but uh, I want to make. I want to build their confidence in talking ah, in English, yes, especially when we want to talk in English. We feel not comfortable. We feel not confident. What if my grammar wrong? What oh, is my pronunciation yes. wrong? But we need to uh, build their confidence by saying it's okay for you to not really fluent in English, yes. but you want to try. Yes, that's the important yes. thing, guys. Keep trying. <laughs> Keep trying. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, was it me now? Yeah, yeah it was me. Okay, so for myself, I think it's not much uh, difference from all three of my guests here. Uh, I also talk to my parents and also my friends sometimes, like very few. I don't really have friends who speaks English as I grow up. Uh, I mean, in my elementary and then junior high, senior high, there is not much friend that I talk about. Uh, with that speaks English fluently I think it's mostly my mother my mother speaks with me in English a lot and she is pretty fluent for average Indonesian because she took uh, English literature for her bachelor so I think how I keep my English good especially for the speaking is from my mother but for the writing or like uh, reading I think it's more like social media and my phone as well uh, my devices as uh, one because I compel myself to use the settings in English because I see a lot of my friends who use their gadgets in the settings of Indonesian Uh, me myself I always use I think it's my mom who compels us use English for the settings and when I use my friend's phone which is in Indonesian it's 
confusing for me. I'm sorry, but it's. I mean, like this is not what I usually saw, so it's kind of confusing. So, I use English in my phone, my laptop, now my tablet, and also I think uh, when I watch YouTube. Uh, usually you can choose the subtitles, right? There's Indonesian and in English. I always make myself watch in English subtitle. That's how I, like, we can hear what they say and what it wrote, and we know that what they are saying. So it's, I think it's a two in one thing that you know how to pronounce it and then what it wrote in written manner. I think it's very good if you want to try to. Embrace more English. I think you can try by watching uh, contents. Maybe like if you like K-pop, there's a lot of vlogs or maybe contents that has uh, subtitles. Maybe you can try to use uh, English title more for that uh, for your developing your English. Yeah. Yes, it's really good, especially for us to learn in yeah. movie or in yeah movie as yes. well. Music also plays a big part. English subtitle, yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's good. But actually, have you guys ever thought about us being as an Indonesian, yes. but we understand more about English rather than our own language? Yep. But, I, like we understand the words in English, but we don't know how to translate it to Indonesia. I think it's. I think it's people who speaks more than language one languages. Uh, it happens all the time. You also has to be in that situation. Like like you want to say something, you know, you know that word in Indonesian, but you can't say it. Like it's just lost in your mind. Like it's stored back then, but what is it? You know. Yes. Sometimes, uh, yeah, I can say for certain that there are very. Uh, Many instances where I have a word that I want to say, especially in English, let's say, but it's so hard for me to find a word in Indonesian that's like that hits that, right. <laughs> that's really correlates with what I want to say. Sometimes uh, the nuances of language is different, right? So what we want to say in English, especially, mm. is very different than what uh, Indonesian. Word or Indonesian language has to offer, so I think that's. What about you, Gita? That. Sometimes I feel that too when I have a word in English, but I have to translate in Indonesia. Like, what kind of um, <laughs> translation of this word, right? Uh, it's really confusing for me. But yeah, I just say it in English if yeah. I cannot find it if, in Indonesia. Please, guys, if you met one of us and we start to speak. Suddenly, in English, in the middle of the sentence, it's not because we are trying to be like prideful about our English. It's not. Trust me, it's because we are confused what to use it. That word in Indonesia, we can find it, so we just say it in English. Okay. And also, I found this very interesting quotes from the book that I recently just last night finished from Babel. It says that the act of translation is the act of betrayal. I think it's it's very true and very I don't know. It's very good. It the act of translation is an act of betrayal. I think it's very true because at some extent, there is no one to one translation, right? Like yes. the nuances you got when you speak English or Indonesian is very different. So I think that's very cool. Like it. I think it happens to all four of us. Okay, so we have talked about our background and then also how do we maintain our English. Next, let's see about our experiences in English, especially uh, what happens in now our college life, like competitions maybe or what. Uh, Any ways that you use it's your English maybe as master of ceremony or like right now a podcast. Okay, what do you do? What do you do, Gita? Okay, um, I have been be a master of ceremony, especially with you guys. Do yeah. you remember in the past when in IHSCC? Yeah, IHSCC. Yeah, ah, yes, IHSCC. Yes. Of course, I met you guys mm. both. You're not first in here, no, Adam. You were not here. You're not already in here, Adam. But we together in, yeah, in that yeah, event yes, yes. as. 
me and Mas Pasha as the uh, yeah, master were, of ceremony, but in a different Yeah, you were in the day. first day, right? Yes, I'm me in the first Pasha day. Me and Pasha both in the second day. Yes, that is my first experience in English, especially in college, college. Uh, as the master of ceremony in English. Immediately, huh? Mm. With Yo, we entered. both, we both like, especially Gita because he, uh, she is, uh, master of ceremony in the whole, uh, event like from morning to afternoon, and I think that's so cool. Like I was jealous of you. To be honest, and it's really exhausted for yeah. for me to experience, but it's really good for me to experience that. That's okay. It. Any anything else? Maybe you also join competitions, right? There is a lot I of competition join that you join. Competition. No, well, but not that much, Ria. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but you yes. join much more than me. But we um we especially has already uh, has been has history. Yeah, <laughs> history <laughs> with competition, mm, yes. competition together. Okay. Like, okay. So yes, what? I, from, From what I know, you join both speech and debate. Which one do you like more, and why? Wow, it's really I already uh, I already know the answer, yeah, but okay. I need to know. I need closure. Okay, I I ever been joined in English competition, especially for debate and speech. Hmm. But I more like to join competition in speech competition because I feel like when I join a speech competition, it's more me. Like it's my own opinion i can uh, i can speak to the audience with my own opinion without anyone um without interrupting. anyone interrupting my mm. opinion but in debate we really got to think when it's my opinion it's my team opinion and also the uh, team the, the other, the other team, team opinion, opinion but, yes. and we the really have the, yes it's <laughs> really it's too much opinion yeah. and i have to make understand them, have, make yeah. them all happy for my opinion yes. right like I, I I should have to make sure for every people in there to uh, my argument, my opinion. But I have to see through my others' friends' opinion mm. also. But in speech, it's pure in my opinion yeah. like that. So I think it's more enjoy for me to join speech competition. Okay, okay. Next, Ada, you also join speech competition recently uh what do you have in mind that may be a little different from gita's experience um i think it's about the experience the english experience or knowledge that mm-hmm. i've been using um back when i was in senior high school as well um before my last exam i had an a TOEFL examination mm-hmm. from the school that we normally take on average the my whole classmates got around f- uh, not much that took the test that has been taking 500 or even mm-hmm. 550 mm-hmm. Uh, mostly they take 500 until below but there's only a few people in the class Including you, including me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, there's like, if I remember quickly, uh, correctly, there's like only three people. Okay. Yeah, two of my friends and me as well. How much do you get? Um, We need numbers. When I was on the first grade of senior, I was I got around 553. Mm-hmm. And then on the second year, I got 583. Okay. On the last year, I got 610. Ooh, wow. Okay. And that's that's a big prodigy. <laughs> <laughs> It's not like I'm flexing or something, but that turned my uh, what do you call uh, your confidence? My confidence. Ooh. Yeah. You my, got oh I got something yeah, isn't I, it <laughs> Yeah that turned my confidence all the way up just to join more competitions because mm. I know the worth that I could actually give mm. and all the experiences that could actually turn like I could start an online lecture right now to, okay. with my <laughs> other friends That's a bit excessive but okay I, yeah, <laughs> but I don't really want to because there's a few things that I'm still missing out, but I don't really know what is it. Mm, okay, so you uh, recently joined a speech competition and you got good numbers on your TOEFL back then in high school. But do you also join maybe in high school? Um, back when I was in high school, I took 
mostly speech huh. rather than debate. But in debate, I only had. Oh, you few, do debate as well. Yeah, a few experiences twice. Not really much, but mostly speech. Mm, yeah. Okay. It's really good experience for us, yeah. especially in competition. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's True. really good. I think. No, right. I'm not gonna ask about me. <laughs> Yes. Okay, I will ask about you. <laughs> okay, what have you done okay. in this college in English? Well, my journey in uh, Ooh, with English competition. It has a lot of journey. Uh, it's very interesting. So, uh, for my first semester, I was basically forced to uh, join. to join a pageantry uh, pageant. For example, <laughs> yes. it's called Duta Duta Campus, uh, but. Duta Campus really, uh, really values your English skills, mm, and from that point on, uh, I've caught the attention of my uh, lecturers and my professors, and they encourage me to join many different types of competitions. Okay, for what types? Uh, I've joined newscasting. I've joined speech. I've joined debate. Okay, and I've also become many. Uh, yeah, things. I know you are the main character here. <laughs> oh, we need a male main uh, master of ceremony. Just call Pasha. He can do it. <laughs> yeah. And then so. uh, from all the competition that you have joined, which one do you like the most? Oh, that's I easy. know it's debate. It's easy for me to say, but <laughs> it's, it's really debate because debate makes you think outside the box. Yes. First and foremost, True, it makes you think outside the box. So for speech, it's seems generic to me because uh the what you say is basically what everybody else says right mm. but in speech let's say you get a really tough motion uh, and debate sorry uh, in debate you get a really tough motion but then you have to think outside of what your uh initial expectations yes. are yes yeah you have to like debrief yourself yeah. okay we can be us uh, siding in one side we have to be neutral for the motion well, or what position we got right and you have to think about many different things not just the way you speak you speak but also your uh, your teammates your yeah. opponents the judges your hands your uh, so everything, much everything uh, yeah. is so what you like it's what kind of thing <laughs> I don't like like oh my god I know. it's, like, it's, yeah, it's really much of work yes, I know it's really good guys uh, people who can speech is uh, not all of them can do debate yeah. but the people who do debate they can do speech sorry yeah. I have to deny that because <laughs> really? I, I can't do speech you know why I ended up in this debate team because I've done speech back then in my high school and it was really really bad I don't know it was because I like the I don't know like the to uh, this coaching or maybe something else I don't know but it was really really bad and I, at at that point I told to myself ah nah I won't do speech okay. again okay so then when I come to Polkesho right now in college and I wanted to try a competition so I I was surrendering myself mm, for yes. my class for NHPO like last semester kan yes. and then uh, y- you uh, I think it's Miss Nurun who get around and ask for each classes uh, which one of you guys who wants to uh, try for NHPO and I said like ma'am I want to try for debate like it's literally I'm blind yes. like I don't know what yes, to I expect think, for yes. debate so I just come and then I don't know what to expect at, yes. at that one I think it was you and then also there is Pasha and we just met Mbak Citra and then oh this is fun I think and then uh, at, at that point I really really enjoy it especially the people I think it's a very good environment and the coach as well is very very good to us yes. and it's, she is very fun and, and I think uh, in, in competition we have our own perspective yeah mm. because exactly. we have our own ability to yes. uh, master in one of branch in competition and yeah. it's really sure. good for each individual mm. or in ourselves mm. and it's really good for us if we uh, feel good in one branch of competition yeah. or in one a division or maybe in one of uh, especially like you in debate and me in speech it's really good for us to yes. always develop ourselves in mm. our uh, 
uh, likely uh, or uh, like, our yeah, I yeah, think mostly yeah, like, I think it's like, it's easier for us to master something if we solely focus to that one thing. I think it's and don't forget to enjoy it though. Yeah, yes, don't forget really. to enjoy it. Yeah. That's right, guys. Everything that you enjoy, you will you love it. You will learn it easily. You will absorb as much as you can. And I think that's the most important thing is to enjoy. Yes, I think today's podcast is really really much, long. Yeah, yeah, really <laughs> lot. I think it's not enough for us in yeah. today's event. Like we need to mm, continue, continue maybe in other podcasts, yes. guys. I think it's uh, too long for us uh, in talking. I think we need to meet again in other uh, occasion yeah. in other podcasts. Yep, I think right. you will gonna wait, wait for, for us, us again. Mm. We are busy. <laughs> Just to say, we are busy, especially her. <laughs> I think the most busy person. Yeah, yeah. Kita is mm, the no. busiest among all mm-hmm. four of us. Okay, I think today's podcast is enough, Ria. Yes. Like we talk a lot here, yes. but we'll we'll continue our podcast in next occasion. Okay, I hope that our stories will bring you some I don't know, maybe some insights, maybe motivations if that makes sense. I think it's more like we yap here, but I th- Uh, I I hope that our experience, our journey will make you uh, get something that maybe you can implement yourself in your life to uh, gain your ability in English, to gain your, maybe you already know English and you want to build more confidence, like just use it guys. Uh, and also enjoy it, <laughs> don't forget, enjoy Be it, love confident. it, and you will absorb as much as possible. I think that's all for today. My name is Ria and that is our today's episode. Ha, bye. bye bye see you in next yeah. occasion see in you sparkling. in other sparklings Maybe- hey, let's get it